All right. Hello, Biology One. You are going to, obviously, if you're listening to this, you've already went to Google Classroom. Um, today, you are going to do what's called the Parmish Worksheet. So the Parmish Worksheet is you have these organisms. There are 20 of them, I believe. Yeah, 20 organisms. And you are going to use this dichotomous key to figure out who they are. So I would just, I mean, you could start wherever you want, I guess, but you can either use this paper and write their name out above them, maybe, if you want, if you can fit it there, or you can take another new piece of paper, of lined paper, and write number one, and then write the name for number one, number two, the name for number two. So for instance, number one, I'm going to look at number one, and I'm going to use its characteristics, its appearance to answer this. So the creature has a large wide head or a small narrow head. Well, look at the difference between these two. This is a small narrow head. So I'm going to go down to 11. The creature has no antenna or the creature has antenna. Well, let me look. I believe it had antenna. It does. Number one has antenna. So I'm going to go to 12. I need to fix this. 12 on two separate papers. There we go. I'm going to go to number 12. Number 12, there are spikes on the face. There are no spikes. I believe, yeah, no spikes on the face. All right, so no spikes on the face. I'm going to go to 13. The creature has no spikes anywhere. Are there spikes on the right leg? Is there spikes on the right leg? There's spikes, yeah, on its right. So, yeah, remember, like, it's opposite of us. So, yeah, there's spikes on its right leg. So that means that this, this number one would be Narrowus tarbortus. Um, now remember, this is a genus species name. We're going to capitalize lowercase and underline this when you turn in your, your work to me. If you do not, part of your grade is going to be, did you write these names correctly? Did you capitalize? Did you lowercase? And did you underline it? Um, if you want you can go to the assignment and you can click create a document and the end of the document, you could do it that way. And then you can do italics or you could underline it. does not matter if you're writing it, underline it. Um, what I am going to ask you guys to do, because I'm not going to be back this week and I want to try, I don't want to get so far behind on grading. I am going to ask that if you can, um, turn this into me, even if it's um, taking a picture on your phone. If you need to get your phone out, take a picture of your work and turn it into Google that way. So at least have that picture to check your work. Um, or like I said, another the other option is make um, a document and type in number one and then type in the name. How, whatever is easiest for you, as long as I can get something turned in so that I can then grade it and I'm not a week behind in all my classes. All right, if you have any questions at all, let me know. We've been using these dichotomous keys, so I'm hoping that there's no trouble. Um, but I will be around my phone, my computer, so if you need to email me at any time, uh, have at it. Um, I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.